it's the real car, which is great. So we know that mm. you know, big chunks of it are very accurate. And it's a, quite a big change from last year. Whereas we've seen lots of other cars that also have big changes under their launches this year. It's because they're actually kind of following a lot of Ferrari's design ideas. Yeah. Ferrari obviously taken the ideas that already have and are taking it a step further. And the car is beautifully detailed, front to rear all sorts of things going on. It's almost like the kind of the litmus of what should a 2018 car look like. You know, at the front, they've played about with the front wing mount. It's funny enough, following the McLaren idea, put lots of vents in mm. the front wing mount. Uh, and then going back, the side pods that, you know, very much the, the trend that Ferrari set last year, they've further developed these this year. They're quite confusing to look at at first, but the inlet is absolutely tiny, right in next to the cockpit, still with the little periscope inlet mm. to, to uh, let their air in through over the top. The rest of the, the bodywork outboard of that inlet is just there to shape airflow around the back rest of the car. Like Mercedes, the, the Coke bottle, the rest of the side pods, very neat and tidy. One fascinating feature which caught my eye almost as soon as I saw it was the wing mirrors. Now, wing mirror pods, um, they've got to be a certain size for the mirror glass inside, but pretty much the rest of the regulations are free. Ferrari have got some slots in them, and it looks like they've actually turned the mirrors, or the wing mirrors as we used to call them, literally into little winglets. Fascinating, we need to have a much closer look at those when we get a chance to look at some proper pictures. But yeah, front to rear, Ferrari really have done a big job on and this And what car. have they done on the Halo? On the Halo, um, they have the little winglet around the top, as most teams will, will employ. A lot of teams have already added their fairings, but not the little details. Um, everyone's going to follow this direction. I don't think there's going to be a lot of variety. It's just going to be that boomerang that we saw uh, through testing around the top, just to try and turn the airflow back away from the roll hoop, away from the driver's head. And I think within a few races, everyone will probably much have the same setup there. It's got a little bit longer as well, not massively longer, I don't mm. think, but um, they have Why added. Why is that, do you think? It's about the space that the car has to fit more bodywork, particularly with the barge boards around the front. Right. So through all of these uh, launches, we've been speaking about side pods as a big design factor, but that's going to be locked into the car because it's quite a structural change to the car. But all the barge boards and the, you know, the detail around the front wing, that's the teams are free to change that every race. And that's going to be the real battleground. So the longer the car, particularly at the front of the car, the more you can package more bodywork in, which gives you more performance. And that's all we'll probably talk about for the rest of the year.